When creating publications from scratch, you may find that you have to keep moving the pictures around to fit with your text. Not anymore. In this tutorial, we're going to look at controlling picture position relative to frame text by using anchors. To demonstrate this, I'm using this publication, which was created in another tutorial. Text 1, Frame Text Basics. Feel free to follow that tutorial and create this layout for yourself if you want to. We're going to look at different ways of adding pictures inline to text. The first method is to position the picture inline as a character. To begin, add a blank line into your text where you want the picture to go. Do this by pressing return and ensure that your cursor is flashing at this point. Next, you'll need to import your picture. I'll do this by opening the Pictures flyout on the Tools toolbar and select Import Picture. Navigate to your pictures and select the one you want to use. Then click Open. Depending on the size of your picture, Page Plus may prompt you to shrink it down so that it fits the frame. If this is the case, click Yes. Your picture will appear on the page. I'll resize it to make it a little smaller. When the picture is selected, you can see this anchor point. Inline pictures are automatically attached to anchor points at the placed insertion point. I don't want the text to flow around the picture at this time. To solve this, I'll click the Anchored Object Properties button underneath the picture. At the top of the dialog, click Position Inline as Character. Then click OK. I'll now resize my picture so it can be seen more clearly. If you want your picture to be centre aligned, click after the picture to select the blank paragraph, then click Centre Align on the Text Context toolbar. Now we'll look at floating your picture in relation to a placed anchor point. On this page I've added some text frames. I'm going to import another picture and position it to the left of the first text frame. This picture doesn't yet have an anchor point because it's not positioned in line. We can add one now. With the picture selected, open the Arrange menu and click Anchor Object. In the dialog, the horizontal position is currently set as outside on the left of the frame. This is correct for the picture I just imported. I'm going to change the offset X value to minus 1 and then click OK. You can see that the picture has been anchored to the nearest text frame. If you move the text frame or add more text before the anchor point, the picture will move. The picture will always move in relation to its anchor point. You can experiment with the vertical positioning of objects using the same principles. Finally, we'll look at centering pictures inside text frames. In this final text frame, I'll click where I want the picture to go and then import a final picture. I'll click Yes to shrink down the picture as we did earlier and then resize it to make it slightly smaller. Once again, click the Anchored Object Properties button underneath the picture. This time, in the dialog, change both the horizontal and vertical position to inside centred of the frame, and then click OK. The picture has appeared in the centre of the text frame. Before we finish, we'll have a quick look at wrap settings. Wrap settings can be used to provide some blank space between the picture and surrounding text. Access the Anchored Object Properties dialog again, and then, in the bottom left corner, click Wrap Settings. Choose Square, and then increase the distance from text on all sides of the object to 0.3 cm. Click OK and then OK again. The picture now looks neater inside the text frame. If I add some more text or paragraph markers above the picture, 
you can see that it remains in the centre of the text frame and the text flows around it. That's all for this tutorial. Remember, there are lots of different anchoring settings to choose from, so the best thing to do is experiment and see what works best for your publication. To find out more about PagePlus, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thanks for watching.